today we're going to be doing uh, lifting a vehicle up with uh, hydraulic floor jack and supporting with safety stands. We're going to need some also some other safety items like blocks and wood, and that's going to block the opposite axle while we lift the front so the vehicle doesn't move. Uh, on this project here, we're going to be using the large hydraulic floor jack, and the reason why we do that is uh, because this jack is designed to lift the vehicle to a higher position than the smaller ones. And this jack is only designed to lift the front or the back of the vehicle, where the other hydraulic floor jacks can also lift the sides. So let's get started. So I'm going to block my wheels with uh, two blocks of wood, one for the front and one for the back, and that's going to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Okay, so let's get started by placing the jack under the car. Now I'm going to throw the jack underneath the front half of the car. We're going to always start with the front and we're going to line it up in the center of the car and we have to choose a right place, a safe place to jack this vehicle up from and this is a unibody car so again there's no frame uh, other than the frame that supports the engine so we're going to use that frame there and you can see that's right there now you can see that the jack is really close to the frame so at this point in time I'll call my instructor over and have him or her okay the location of the floor jack when they okay it and if it's a good place then we can go ahead and lift the vehicle up so I'm going to pump my handle here Then we're going to lift it up quite high because in this project here, you're actually going to get under the vehicle and you're going to have to identify a few things for your instructor. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to place the safety stands in behind the wheels and like before we talked about the molded frame and the pinch weld, now let's check to see if this vehicle has a molded frame and look here it does, it does have a molded frame, you can see it's a box that looks like a frame but it's made of sheet metal. So we're going to place that as close to the wheel as possible but on a flat spot, not on a rounded edge, on a flat spot. So we can see that right between those two bolts, that works on this vehicle. Now I'm going to do that on, on the other side as well. And before I lower the jack and contact the safety stand with the, the, the car, I'm going to call my instructor over. I'm going to have him or her okay this position to make sure it's safe, which they have. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Make sure it's in the same place. Make sure the safety stand is of the same height so the car is not on an angle, have my instructor okay it as well, and then I'm going to lower the car. Now to lower this jack here, to lower this, this hydraulic floor jack, we have to lower the handle all the way down to the ground. Once it's down here, then we can take this knob and we can loosen it. And we want to do it slowly, to lower the car slowly. Here we go. Okay, the vehicle is resting on the safety stands now. Before I continue ahead, what I want to do is I want to make sure it's safe. So I want to grab the bumper and I want to move it up and down and shake it left and right. And if it falls, I want it to fall before I get underneath the vehicle. And it seems pretty secure. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring the hydraulic floor jack to the back. Okay, so I'm going to identify a proper place, which I think is good. I'm going to identify a proper place, which I think is good. I'm going to bring it real close. I'm not going to touch the car with the hydraulic floor jack. I'm just going to bring it within about an inch. Okay, now I'm going to call my instructor over and have him or her identify and clarify or confirm that this is a safe place. If it's not, I'm going to have to choose a different place. What we have here, this is part of a small uh, section of the suspension system. This does not have a, a live or a dead axle in the back half of this car, but it does have a small section where we can lift it up from, and that's been incorporated from the manufacturer. So go ahead, I'm going to lift that up right there. I 
And when I lift it up, I want to lift it up so that the vehicle looks level. It's not higher in the front or lower in the front. Right about there. Now, something that I didn't mention earlier, but very important here, is that you can see that there's a sewer in the middle of the floor here. Now, I wouldn't want to have my wheels of my hydraulic floor jack on that sewer because that will not support it safely. Same thing, if I'm supporting the weighted vehicle, I wouldn't want one of my uh, legs of the safety stand to be uh, in the sewer section here because again, that could, that could tip, honestly, it could be unsafe. So I gotta be in a level, level ground. So this vehicle here does not have any sort of molded frame in the back or any sort of safety position that the manufacturer has included. So I'm going to have to use the, the pinch weld. Now the pinch weld, where do I put it on the pinch weld? This is a question I constantly ask myself. Now you notice how right here there's two little ridges, two little notches here in the pinch weld, and it's relatively close to the wheel. This is an identification to the manufacturer, to anybody working on it, this is the proper location. So I'm going to put my jack in the center just like that. Okay, be careful, this is the gas tank here, so I'm going to nudge it this way a little bit so that I don't lower the vehicle on the gas tank. If I were to do that, I would rip a hole in the gas tank and that could be expensive and dangerous. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Once I put my jack, once I put my jack in the proper location, my floor stands in the proper location, I'm going to call my instructor over, I'm going to have him or her come over and confirm that it is in the right location. If it's not, then I'm going to have to choose a different location. So that's fine there. Now again, to lower the floor, lower the jack down, I have to lower the handle down to the floor, then loosen the, the knob here. And I want to do it slowly, I don't want the car to bounce. There we go, my car is now safely raised on the hydraulic floor stands. And again, before I get underneath the vehicle, I'm going to take the bumper, I'm going to shake it up and down, and I'm going to shake it left and right, and if it falls, I want it to fall before I get under the vehicle. At this point, your instructor will have you identify a few things under the vehicle. Uh, you can work with him or her to do that. Once you've done that, then you have to lower your vehicle. We have to use the same procedures. We have to put our floor jack underneath the, the center of the car. I'm going to choose the proper location, and again, I'm going to reconfirm with my instructor if that's the right location. I'm not going to be overconfident and assume I know. I'm going to follow the safety instructions that my instructor has put in place for me. So, it's okay that my instructor said, yes, this is the proper location. Once I lift my jack up there, real close, I re-ask my instructor if I'm in the right location. If I am, then I can continue forward. Remember, don't touch the car with the jack or the jack stands until your instructor has okayed it. So let's go ahead there. Once the car is high enough, I can remove the safety stand. Once they're all clear, I'm gonna make sure nothing is underneath the wheels and there's nobody around to get their, their feet pinched underneath each wheel. I'm gonna let everybody know that I'm lowering the vehicle and again, I'm going to lower the handle of the jack all the way to the ground. I'm going to take the knob and I'm going to loosen it. And allow the wheel to lower slowly. Not fast, I don't want the car to bounce when it hits the ground. Once that's down all the way, then I'm going to retighten the handle on my jack so that I can pump it up for the front. I'm going to reposition the blocks of wood on the back here because I had to move them when I raised the vehicle. So I'm going to reposition them to a secure location. I'm going to bring my hydraulic floor jack underneath the vehicle. I'm going to make sure that it's, uh, it's close but it's not touching. Once I get it close to the vehicle, I'm going to call my instructor over and he or she will confirm if this is the correct location. Remember, here I'm on the frame, right here I'm on the oil pan. I would do serious engine damage to this vehicle if I lift this vehicle from this location right here. That is a big no-no. It can be very expensive and costly for the class. So this is the proper location. My instructor has located so that I can go ahead, lift the vehicle up from this place here. 
And once the vehicle's high enough, I can pull the jack stands out of the way. Now, I'm going to do a walk around. I'm going to make sure nothing's underneath the vehicle before I lower it down. I'm going to let everybody know around me that I'm lowering the vehicle. Once I've done that and it's safe, I'm going to lower the handle of the floor jack. And then I'm going to loosen the knob real slow so that the vehicle starts to lower slowly. Just like that. I don't want the vehicle to bounce when it hits the ground. Congratulations, you have, you have completed raising.